Hey everyone, I'm Rael, and you're currently in my closet. Thank you for joining me here today on my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I greatly appreciate everybody who has been watching, subscribing, and commenting on my videos below. So, happy Thrift Find Thursday! I do have another exciting item to share with you guys. First, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Um, make sure that you're watching my videos, you know, a little longer if you can and not just skipping, you know, to certain parts of the video. I don't know if, you know, most people just think it's just you have to get to a thousand subscribers to get monetized, but you also have to have 4,000 hours of watch time, which in a year's time, you think that that might not be too much. Actually, it really is. <laughs> so if everybody who, you know, is watching can do me a favor and, you know, just do some chores or something, you know, if you just, you know, don't want to watch my whole video and physically be watching the video, just leave my video on. It's okay. You will know. So I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's find out what Thursday's Thrift Find is. So I have Thursday's Thrift Find right in this nice shopping tote that I recently picked up at the consignment store. I, you know, gave an extra 99 cents to get this little tote. So it's coming in handy for the thumbnail of my video so I don't have to like blur out the shot of what I'm going to present to you today. So it's like the closest thing right now I've come to getting a Chanel bag only at a thrift store never had this type of bag before never thought in a million years i would but when i saw it at the store i knew it was worth sharing with you guys so it is not my kind of style bag but yet it is just so gorgeous that it's worth sharing with everybody so i kept trying it on what looking at it in the mirror how it looked on me and it really reminded me of something Chanel would come up with. So let me get into the bag. So you ready? Look at this gem. Look at the sparkles on this. And of course you can tell by the patch, it's a Henry Bendel bag. So gorgeous can't believe I found this at a thrift store. I, I knew about Henry Bendel stores. I believe one of the last ones was still in New York and I believe there was a store in a storefront anyways in King of Prussia Mall up until 2019 when the whole company had folded because L Brands, which is also the owner of Victoria's Secret, decided it was no longer a worthwhile you know store to keep open so unfortunately now Henry Bendel no longer exists so that also you know made my decision to grab this bag since it's a now defunct company so why not have this gem in my collection like I said it's not my personal style but this this tweed you know material reminds me of something Chanel would be making so let's get into the details of this bag a little further, shall we? So pretty much out of all purses, since I don't have, I never had a Henry Bendel before, I'm really not familiar with this type of bag. But in the inside, look at this beautiful, I think this is like a satin material. Uh, I did actually vacuum it out with my little stick vac, you know, just to make sure it was clean for presenting to everybody. But look how gorgeous that is. And it even has the little, little bow with the Henry Bendel signature colors that he used to put on his boxes, like the hat boxes from back in the day. Oh, there's my receipt. I wanted to keep that together. But look how gorgeous this purple, and that's my favorite color too, so that was another reason to get this bag. And I'm not sure, I think there was a date code on the inside. Let me try to pull out this lining a little bit better. Comment below and let me know what you know about the date code on here, which I have here. I don't know if you can see. Ugh. The way it is, it might be too bright. But on the date code, it's Q418PC 
0918. So maybe the last four digits, it means September 2018. Maybe. Because this doesn't seem like this is that old of a bag. Whoever previously owned this bag hardly used it. Like I said, I did vacuum it out, but otherwise there are literally no stains that I can tell. Also, it has the Henry Bendel classic striping of the brown and white. Just simply stunning. And I will zip this back up and the zipper is really nice on this too. Very smooth. Silver hardware. And then it has these really nice front pockets right here, which I'm going to demonstrate. My iPhone 12 case goes right in completely. Let's zip that up. I love these front pockets. And then here's the strap up close. I don't know if it says anywhere on the hardware, like the Henry Bendel logo or anything. I don't see any logos on the hardware here. And then on the bottom, it has this little bit of structuring throughout it. And I'm sure you can fit lots into this bag. This would be really great. So that's why maybe I, it will become my style, but I do want to, you know, just show it off really quick. You can wear a crossbody. And it just falls like right at my hip here. Look at that up close detail. Oh, just so glitzy and beautiful. And then here it is as a shoulder bag. See it right like that. It's still a little long. It slides off the shoulder a little bit, but you know, it's still doable. Show you more up close. Oh, and it does have Henry Bendel on the like the riveting here. So that's nice. Okay, so it does have the logo on the hardware too. So I paid $40 for this. Again, just like my coach bag, which I want to give a little update before I end out the video on the coach bag too. That I saw, I think it was on Poshmark, or maybe another like Mercari, somebody was trying to sell this for I believe like $175. So again, I think I got a thrift find at $40. And since Henry Bendel is no longer, you know, operating, I, I think this is like just a gem to have in my collection. And it's just so mesmerizing with that sparkle on it. I, I just had to have it. I just wanted to give you some close-up, you know, shots of this bag. So here is the front. Again, look at that sparkle, everybody. Just stunning. So here's the front. The side. Again, it has this structuring in there. It's almost like a base shaper, which is really cool. Here is the back. Kind of twisted around here, but here's the other side. And back to the front. And I wanted to show these rings up close. Really nice hardware, really solid. There's a heaviness to that, which I love. The heavier the hardware, I feel like the more luxurious the bag is. So there we go. And let me know in the comment section if you own any Henry Bendel bags or Henry Bendel items. They used to have fragrances and whatnot. He was a full, full service department store. They used to have um, makeup kiosks and he was like actually the first to be doing that. He used to have an in department store cafe and he used to hold his own fashion shows too. So just some little facts about the Henry Bendel's department stores. It's beautiful, definitely. So there we go. So let's get into then my coach bag update, you know, just to 
further talk about how that first thrift find is doing. So my coach bag is doing a lot better since having her, you know, a little stuffed out and these indentations are working their way out. If you can tell a little bit better if you comp would compare it from the, the other video, but yes, that's doing a lot better. So thank you for all who were commenting about, you know, the type of bag that this is, um, and also ways to get rid of the indentations on the bottom. I, I thank everybody for the suggestions. You know, you guys are great in this community, so I appreciate you all doing that. And I'm really enjoying this Thrift Find Thursday series, you know. It's been, like I said earlier in the video, a very slow month in the YouTube world anyways. So I'm not doing all these crazy unboxings, which I know the unboxings always get those views and this series might not get those views. I definitely understand that. But again, I still like making these videos and I would rather, you know, be sharing the information on these wonderful finds that I can share with you guys and hopes that it can be helpful to you as well, the purse lover who maybe, you know, doesn't have the budget for these crazy brand new bags, but still wants the great style, great looking contemporary or luxe bag. So again, I am so thrilled to be presenting this series. Now, again, just a disclaimer, I don't know if I will in the future, you know, can do this every Thursday, but I will definitely, you know, try my best because I do like to go thrifting on the weekend and then show you guys what I found. So before I go ahead and end out this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate trying to get up to 350 as my next goal and then so forth on to 400. You know, it's really tough getting subscribers. <laughs> you know, it's been a journey and Lucky says hello. Hi. So she's like, oh no, don't come here. Come here, sweet pea. Come here. You want to say hello? Boop. So here's Lucky. She just had to say her good her hello and goodbye. So thank you everybody for who's been watching and supporting my channel. It's really tough getting subscribers, but I know, you know, everybody goes at their own pace and I'm thankful for everybody that I have or will have in the future. So thank you for giving me this opportunity and I will see you guys on my next video. I have, you know, some exciting video ideas that I want to do. And there is also an epic collaboration coming up in the month of February. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe, hit all notifications, and I will see you guys in the comment section. Have a great day and take care. Bye.